guys, it's me, the stupendous stupendous with my mighty pen ultimate. Don't forget to subscribe for some awesome adventures. See you then. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty pen ultimate. It was D-E-A-R, Dear Day at Cool School. That's when you drop everything and read. Isn't this just the best? I love Dear Day. Drop everything and read means a whole day of story time. One of my favorite days. Got my special Dear Day popcorn. Whoa! I can't wait to dive into these books. Uh-oh, kids. Looks like there are some unexpected visitors in class today. It's Ray Blank and Timmy Timmy. I bet they're up to no good. I hate Dear Day. Me too. Ugh, you don't even sound evil. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> sorry. All right, we're ready to go. Time to drop everything and look out. We dropped everything all right. Now don't mind if we erase all these books too. <laughs> Ray erased as many books as he could get his hands on. Then he grabbed Timmy and he stuck out of the room before anyone could see them. Guess there were too many books on that shelf. Strange, never was a problem before. Everyone okay? Uh, I am, but these aren't. The books, they're all empty. There must be some kind of mistake. My books are always filled with stories. We can't have reading day without stories. I don't get it. Stories can't just vanish. They can if they've been erased. You're right. It looks like these stories have been erased. But who would erase stories? I can think of one bad guy who likes to erase stuff. Ray Blank, I've got your number and you've got my letters. You're going down. Drew took out his mighty penultimate and turned into the stupendous Drupendous. Just when I thought we were going to have a relaxing day of reading and popcorn. Now, if I were a villain trying to ruin reading day, where would I go? Aha! Follow me, you guys. With no time to spare, Drew and his buddies jetted off to the library, where there are a gazillion books. In the library, they spotted Ray and Timmy trying to erase all the library books. Oh, no! They're trying to erase them all! Does that mean no reading ever again? Not if I can help it. Listen up. I've got a plan. Timmy Timmy was walking in the library when a book suddenly appeared in front of him. Ooh, that looks like a good book. Had to be a real villain for dummies. Ooh. But Ella was moving it on a string. Uh-oh. Then Drew caught him in a blanket. Ah. Here, read this, but stay quiet. Okie doke. Thanks, Drew. Timmy, where are my books? Robbie, that's your cue. Coming right up. Robbie quickly grabbed a stack of books and headed straight in Ray's direction. About time, Timmy. Gotta start being reliable if you're gonna be a real villain, okay? Hello? Yeah. You're not Timmy. Uh, nope. Come to help me erase these books too, have you? We began lifting the books off the floor, erasing one page after the next. No, those belong to our library and Miss Booksy. Not anymore. <laughs> Stop right there, Ray. Uh-uh, not gonna get in my way this time, Drewfus. Drew quickly drew a word blaster to cover Ray in words, but as fast as he could blast them, Ray would erase them. Drew even shot the word Ray at Ray, and he erased it. Ray, you just erased your own name. I did? Yeah, can't you read? Ugh. Wait, you can't read? Yeah, so what? So that's why you hate Dear Day. No wonder he wanted to get rid of all the books. I hate books, all right. How can you hate books? They're the best. Because, well, because I can't read, okay? Now leave me alone. So we'll teach you. It's not hard. Just take some practice. But who cares, okay? Reading's for losers anyway. No, it's not. Reading's the best. I bet you would change your mind if you came to story time. Especially Miss Booksy's story time. Yep. She makes reading easy and super fun. I even learned to spell donut. D-U-G-A-D-O-G. Uh, See, everyone makes mistakes. Uh, reading mean, takes practice. And that's what story time is for. No, uh, I couldn't. I mean... Well, there's no way anyone's letting a villain into story time. Well, we will, if you promise to stop erasing all of her books. Uh, well, all right, fine, just this time. And if it turns out I hate story time, then- Yeah, yeah, we know. You'll be all villainy again. Now come on, Dear Day's gonna be over soon. Dear Day? You know, drop everything and read. You'll see. Drew and the gang jetted back to Miss Brooks' class, but this time with the villain in tow. Oh, I see you've brought a, a special friend to story time. Yep, we wanted to see what all this reading is about. Well, we better show him then. If I only had some words in my storybooks. 
Oh, right. Drew quickly pulled out his penultimate and sketched all the words right back into Miss Books' storybooks. Whew, thanks, Drew. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Once upon a time... Well, boys and girls, land, Drew had saved the day once again. Beautiful. Dear Day was back in action, and this time, everyone was reading. Uh, hello? Anybody out there? Oh, well. Guess I'll just keep reading my book. Moral of the story, boys and girls. Read! It's good for you, and it's super fun. Try it the next Dear Day, or any day. Even Ray likes it. Shh! This is a good story. Thanks to everyone who suggested I save a story. Hit below if you like reading, too. Be sure to comment what Drew should draw on his next adventure. And hit subscribe below so you never miss a beat. See you guys next time. Bye!